What up, guys? Hazy Rome here, Deep Voice Wear, and YCC 2017. We're over here by Rogue Cooper Redux, coming October 17th to Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. I'm here with Robert Dale, Community Manager. He's going to tell us a little bit about the game. Robert, how are you enjoying the convention? Oh, it's really good. Very busy, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, the game comes out October 17th. Yeah. So the console's already. Yeah. Um, it's based on the 2000 AD comic, mm -hmm. um, Rogue Trooper. Sure. The original game came out on PS2 originally in 2006. Oh, right. So not a lot of people will, be, it's like a gen different generation now. We're remastering it for the current generation of consoles. Yeah. And of course, Nintendo Switch is obviously great to be on as well. I do believe we might be the first shooter on Switch. I know Doom's coming later on. Yeah, but, Doom's coming um, later. Yes, yeah, so that's obviously going to be something great for the people who want to play shooters. Yeah, I definitely say the first uh, kind of online co-op shooter for sure. Yeah, right. definitely. Which I think is yeah. a, a big deal. I mean, obviously, that will kind of depend on Nintendo's end of things. If yeah, they hold up their bargain of having some <laughs> servers that work. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, the demo, we didn't get a chance to try out the uh, the co-op. It was mostly single player. But, I mean, is there anything you could kind of tell us about the co-op experience that's coming up in the game? So the majority of the content is single yeah. player. We've got the multiplayer content, which will be like the deathmatch, team deathmatch things. Mm -hmm. okay. And then co-op is some mini games. They're, you know, working with friends to fight off waves of enemies, things like that. Horde yeah. mode. You, know, you go through horde mode, yeah. get right. better weapons, survive longer. It's actually, yeah, like a horde mode is a good way to describe That's it. Really so admittedly, we're not familiar with the comic that uh, Rogue Trooper is based on. So tell us a little, about, a little bit about the premise of the game. We saw that it was kind of like a cool element when we demoed the game where, you know, when your comrade dies, you kind of take a chip out from the back of his neck, yeah. planting your weapon, I guess get a new ability for your weapon or a new, uh, a new, uh, new thing to use for your weapon. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that mechanic. So basically, in this world, when you're, these, these soldiers, GIs, have been bred specifically that, to survive on this planet, which has been poisoned. Yeah. And part of that is they've got a chip in the back of their head, which if you die, they can be saved and be reused again. Sure. So as you saw in the demo, um, the gunner died, and yes. he went straight into your gun and he was able to help you aim. Later on, at the very end of the demo, you saw it's called Bagman. You may have wondered where he went. He obviously went straight into your back. <laughs> right. And through the game, it's also like a crafting mechanic as well. So okay. you can create more like uh, med packs, more ammo, um, things to basically help you against much tougher enemies. Okay. Um, and later on, you'll meet a guy called Helm, and you can obviously guess he's not going to last too long. <laughs> and he, he then starts helping you doing a few hacking things as well. And he's more strategic. He'll give you like hints of what you're supposed to do. Okay. And um, yeah, so you've got like a team with you as you play the game in solo, and you've got a bit of commentary from them, so a bit of banter yeah. from your uh, fallen teammates. Okay. Comrades. So do all, do all the fallen teammates start to kind of, I guess, argue and bicker with one another at they some point, do, like a yeah. voices in your head type of scenario? It, it is a voice in your head scenario. Yeah. They, uh, they generally know what they want to do. I don't want to go too much into the story, but True. you mm -hmm. may be double-crossed a little bit. Oh, and, oh. Um, interesting. You'll have to uh, fight to work out what you need to do, yeah. Okay, and I mean, speaking of story, I guess obviously you can't say too much in terms of uh, Well, the game spoiler. did come out in PS2, so I guess people do true, know, but true. yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I guess my question was, uh, <laughs> how is this tied to the comic? Is it, uh, I guess, an interpretation of what's already happened, or is it something it that is. kind of It is, so in? Rogue Trooper currently has four magazines, and um, this is book one. So Rogue Trooper book one is the entire story that you'll find in this game. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it was actually written originally, well, the, sorry, the art was by David Gibbons, very famous artist now. Yes, yeah, and, he um, is. It was we very well received. We actually wanted to interview him at the convention, but he oh, wasn't really? available. Yeah, That's that, how that big happens, time he is. That happens a lot, yeah. He gave us the, the, the Heisman, man. So it, it was very popular, specifically in um, 2000 D's a lot better known in the UK and Europe more. Whereas, you know, now hopefully we're introducing more to America. So, again, a second stab at getting uh, Rogue out there. Yeah, really yeah. Good. Tell us a little bit about the enemies uh, that we were facing off in, in the game. Mm. I mean, they were hooded and, you know, faces covered, but tell us a yeah. little bit about them. So basically, it, it was two warring factions, and what happens is that they're fighting over this particular, it's called New Earth, because there's a wormhole above it, so mm. it's very strategically important. Sure. And um, you'll notice they were wearing the big masks so they can breathe the oxygen. Oh. So what they did was they, let's kill everyone, we'll, we'll gas the entire Earth, sure. and people won't be able to survive, and they could take it. That's why the GIs were then created specifically to breathe it and go against all the known toxins of the uh, So those the guys map. are definitively the bad guys then? The, the, yes, yeah. Uh, no, it was a little <laughs> bit of was, Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we were jumping on in there and I was I wondering... Mean, they can be we... shades of grey on both sides, you know. I see. Okay. I mean, it is war. 
it is war. atrocities on all sides. Yeah. People not, always, you know, sometimes they, they think more for themselves rather than the, the good guys, you know. That's true, that's true. I mean, uh, one thing that I noticed is, uh, you know, in, in the demo that we played, you got to jump from manning, I guess, a mortar to on-the-ground combat, getting yeah. on a flat gun. Will there be any type of vehicle combat? The yeah, game. there will be. We've actually, um, you go through other planets as well, and there'll be a bit where you're on a train, you're in a plane, you're going through like a subway, <laughs> flying through it. Well, it's, trains, it's, it's very any varied. Automobiles, the game. by any chance? Well, no, because it's, it's set in the future that I don't think automobiles exist in this uh, particular part of the game, at least. Anyway, it's Death more, of cars it's more like mini, <laughs> more mini spaceships. I, I, I'd call I'm sorry, them. I put you in the corner. That was a bad yeah, joke. I know, yeah. <laughs> so I just had a question about uh, weaponry. So mm. there's a lot of weapons available, and there's like some little abilities that you have to work with your weapons as well. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that you're going to have available in the game. So, uh, yeah, I think we've got quite a lot of weapons. You saw the basic machine gun and sure. pistol in the first level there. Sure. Um, what you also noticed, we had a bit of a cheat mode on for you there as well. So you would have, <laughs> you would have seen the big chain lightning gun, which when you aim at one person, it will jump to a nearby yeah. enemies. Yeah. The shotgun, which is very brutal at close range. Yeah. You actually saw the mortar as well. You're trying to fire it at people, so that only locks on to uh, <laughs> electric enemies or big tanks. Gotcha. So there's things gotcha. like that. And obviously your sniper rifle. I don't know if you've played Sniper Elite. So it's kind of, yes, yes. kind of it was the original sniper mechanics before we made Sniper Elite even. Right, right. It's, um, yeah, so quite a few varied weapons. Did Rebellion work on the original Rogue Trooper as well? Yes, we were the original developers, yeah. Okay. Back so, in 2006, there's a guy called Rich May who's still here and he's worked on the original. Yeah. And then 11 years later, he's worked on the uh, Redux as well. Nice, nice. So in 2006, what games did you uh, take as inspiration when you were making uh, Rogue uh, Trooper Redux? Or Rogue Trooper the original, I should say. I, I think at that point it was we had a we we were purchased 2000 AD a comic book company and we had a, a huge amount of characters like Judge Dredd, Rogue Trooper, sure. Strontium Dog, and Rogue Trooper just really fits well into like the games thing. So we just went from there. Really, it's uh, had this huge different loads of different IPs through 2000 AD and it was yeah. it seemed ideal. Obviously, everyone knows Judge Dredd as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. kind of wondering. Yeah. You mentioned that, and I was like, does that mean there's one in the works, a Judge Dredd game? Can't talk about I can't it. talk about that. I mean, <laughs> we, we actually recently, 2000 AD, we licensed out so people can use our IPs to make their own game. And we've had some offers. I can't talk about them. Oh. But um, to get Judge Dredd, you know, you have to make, you definitely have to make the right offer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the reason why I asked about any games you take inspiration from, I'm not sure when Dead to Rights came out, but it was probably before mid 2000s. 2000s. Yeah, it was definitely in the mid 2000s. Or maybe early 2000s, I'd say. Some, sometime yeah. around there. GameCube era. Right, because the yeah. shooting mechanics and you jumping back and jumping sideways, like mm. the mobility of the character kind of reminded me of Dead to Rights. By 2006, there's some pretty decent shooters out there. There's yeah, some Gears yeah. games out there. And so I was just wondering if you guys took inspiration from any of your franchise and, uh, you know, crafting the game. I, I wish I could answer that better, but I, uh, I've only been at Rebellion for three years now. So <laughs> I'd have to go back to my colleagues and ask them what their inspiration was. I now, see. I was yeah. wondering, I mean, in terms of the, I guess, maybe the framework of the game, how much of the original game is in this redux you know yeah. you know did you guys what did you guys do to upgrade i guess maybe the engine so any see, extra content that yeah. the original didn't have yes so we had two things we wanted to add a little bit of extra content obviously make it for the modern consoles but we didn't want to change it too much because mm. obviously the old fan base like it how it was yeah. sure so we've added we obviously you've seen the boosted graphics compared to the 2006 version but we've also added an extra difficulty setting mm. so we find you know gamers are a lot better than they were in 2006 definitely originally when you would have gone through that demo it would have stopped you and said look look up look down look left right and check that you actually knew how to do those things where the modern gamer now can just uh pick up a controller and play through the game yeah well, um, they got the internet they've got the internet yeah, yeah it's, it's fine <laughs> we've heard of the internet yeah. and um the uh, cover mechanics, for example, it, it used to be you'd have to press a button to stick to cover, and it, it felt a bit slow for the modern gamer, as, whereas now you can just, it sticks like a more modern game. Yeah. A lot more streamlined, is yes. yes. what I would say. So if you had to talk to the fan base right now, or people that don't know about the game, what would you say to them that should make them buy this game? If they played the original, why should they buy this game? If they don't, they never heard of Rogue Trooper Redux, what would you tell them is the most unique thing about the game? I'd say it's a great story with a, a really big background for all the, all the uh, comics and things like that. Sure. It also has got a really decently sized long campaign, mm -hmm. good uh, voice acting throughout, and... Um, some humor in there, yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, definitely funny. Definitely, definitely, funny. definitely some 2000 AD humor there. Yeah. <laughs> and it just it plays really well, and it's, you know, Nintendo Switch has finally got a shooter, so it's a really awesome thing. Okay. I mean, I have one more question. You probably can't answer it, 
But are you guys hoping yeah. that this part lays into a sequel or something or a future for the for the Rogue Trooper well, franchise? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But you know, it'd be it'd be really awesome. Who knows? If this one does well, you we can have a sequel, perhaps. Okay. It's as far as I can say, I'm afraid. <laughs> that's that's very cool. Teasing coy. us here. Yeah. Very coy on your part. Yeah. All that's, right. that's how it works, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to ask you about the Nintendo Switch. Mm. I mean, you know, there hasn't been, I don't even, I don't know how many shooters are on Nintendo Switch at this point. I but guess Splatoon is a bit of a shooter. Splatoon. Yeah. Splatoon is a bit of a, it's, I, it's I more, definitely. It's more online only, that's I, the thing. I yeah. definitely will say a bit like I, of a shooter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hating on Splatoon a little bit. Are you a Splatoon fan? <laughs> it's, it's, it's. <laughs> I, I don't know about, I think fan is a little bit of an overstatement. <laughs> but uh, have you guys developed for the Switch before? Is this your first no, game? this will be our first game for the Switch. Okay. Um, it's been really fun. There's right. actually... Judging from the developers, it's a lot easier than we expected. It's done really well. That brings Great. up an interesting point because it's going to be on multiple consoles: Xbox One, PS4, yep. Steam, and a Nintendo Switch. Any difficulties or any any I guess hurdles you guys have to kind of overcome to make sure that this just slightly is the same different experience um, on all consoles? Yeah, they, they all have obviously slightly different control yeah, absolutely. controllers. Absolutely. Um, and the Switch obviously has to work handheld and yeah. um, on your screen as well. Right. But it, it was actually, as far as I'm aware. Very, very easy to do. Nintendo have been great. PlayStation and Xbox, obviously, now we've had loads of games on them. We're used to using them and Steam sure, sure. many years now. Yeah, it's been very yeah. good. Awesome, man. So, I mean, thank you so much for the interview, Pleasure. man. I just wanted to ask one more thing. Go on. What's the price point for it? Are we getting physical, digital? Tell us about uh, how Road Trooper Redux is going to be So, released. on Steam and Switch, it'll just be digital at launch. Okay. Xbox and PlayStation will have a physical copy. Okay. I believe in the US it'll be $25. All right. Um, in U the UK, it will be twenty pounds. All right. And don't ask me about euros. I'm not <laughs> <quite sure. laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for the interview, sir. We're getting out of here. Deep Voice, sign us out. 2000 AD. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Peace, Peace out, guys. Thanks very much.